Meta's rival for Twitter, Threads, is officially here and it is here with a bang. In just the first four hours of the launch, it logged 5 million sign-ups. In the next three hours, the user count doubled to 10 million. So what exactly is this platform Threads all about? Who all are there already? Netflix, HBO, Billboard, National Public Radio set up their accounts within minutes of the platform's launch. Also among the early users are Jennifer Lopez, Shakira, Gordon Ramsay, Tom Brady, Coldplay. Meta says it has also reached out to Oprah Winfrey and the Dalai Lama. Netizens are racing to get onto this new app to be rewarded by a message telling them their rank and many already have blue ticks in front of their usernames. Mark Zuckerberg had openly pitched threads as a friendly rival to Twitter and he is trying to woo the users unhappy with Twitter, clearly. And what's new at threads then? What's different? How different is it from Twitter? And how exactly do you get started? First of all, you will need an Instagram account to log in and once you sign up, you can choose to follow the same accounts you follow on Instagram. If they too have joined the new app, the posts on threads could be longer. Unlike tweets that could only be 280 characters long for most users, threads can be 500 characters long. Also on this app, you can watch up to five minute long videos. Posts can be shared as a link on other platforms. Users can also filter out replies with certain words in them. While most features mimic those of Twitter, its user interface design resembles Instagram's. And you will find the same heart comment and share icons and similarly placed tabs. So that's what it looks like. And how are netizens reacting to the application? Well, overwhelming number of new thread users is an answer in itself. Many praise its ease of use. Some said Elon Musk should be worried. Others pointed out the app's speedy integration with Instagram and how it showed the power of Meta. Ironically, much of the conversation took place on Twitter, where the hashtag threads trended last evening. Currently, the main feed on a thread account is a mixture of content that users follow as well as content recommended from the algorithm. And people will be keeping their usernames uh, from Instagram. And so the possibility of people names quoting high profile usernames has automatically been reduced. Also, the word on the street is threads will not be accepting ads for this year at least. A cage fight between Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk might be a remote possibility, but the two are definitely locking horns through their social media platforms. The obvious resemblance of threads to Twitter has not gone unnoticed, but when has Meta even shied away from copying its rival? In the year 2020, it launched Reels in obvious competition to TikTok and it did that at the right time, by the way. Just when TikTok entered a turbulent period, attracting bans in countries world over. Now Twitter was in shaky waters itself. It had imposed tweet viewing limits, upsetting some of the users. Will Threads make the most of this? It is off to a good start, clearly. Twitter has some 250 million users and the last we checked, Threads had over 10 million already. But what it also has as a, is a support base of 2 billion Instagram users. Will Threads eclipse Twitter? Maybe it will. But as we talk about the enthusiasm and the mayhem behind this new social media platform, let's not forget the bigger picture here. The reality is, Threads is just another addition to the long list of distractions. Isn't it already difficult enough to keep a track of all our social media handles and platforms? There's WhatsApp, there's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat, Discord, Reddit, Pinterest, Tumblr, the list is long. And now there is Threads. I'm just talking off the top of my head. There may be hundred other social media apps that people are using, millions are addicted to. What are we supposed to do with this bombardment of content? 
another popular application means more posts, more trends, more influencers, longer screen time, more social anxiety, and God knows what this would do to people's attention spans. You only have so many hours in the day. How many of them should you be spending on social media? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.